Hey, Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Today was Wednesday, July 17th, 2019. I'm back at my computer. Crude oil traders are bastards. That's the subject today that I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I've been in front of the, the home computer. A while, a while since you've seen me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to like likes and dislikes and comments. I'm just not going to respond to the riffraff that affects my channel, or that, how you put it, that uh, plagues my channel. So um, if you're riffraff, go for it. You know, you know what to do. Uh, minus 47 ticks today. I tried my open strategy and that's not such a great idea on inventory day. And the, the, the report comes out with a minus number. So they're expecting the forecast minus 3.6 and the, uh, the, the, the number comes out minus 3.3 and uh, stock, I mean stock, the uh, oil goes down initially going up towards pivot point and then selling off as you can see going down to the low. I think this is all manipulated. This is, this is crude oil traders are bastards. So they know the low of the market right here. This is going to stay. I if I'm a betting man, which I am, I'd be, I'd come in here long and I would use this right here, that low right there, just printed. Because why? Why are they, why are they bastards? Because they want to find the lowest price that they can before reversing that market over. So you got to think in opposites. My open strategy today I was down minus 31 ticks so I, I wasn't able to uh, take it advantage of of the um, uh, the CL pit strategy I like to take trade there was uh, initial entry point that I had and it came and uh, uh, took me out at like plus something and um, anyway so at that point I was still down minus 20 and then I went from minus 20 to minus 47 on two extra trades right after that so <laughs> what can I say? I, I learned something valuable again, as always, it seems like, because here's the thought process. Here, here's what I wrote in my notes today. I'm going to read you my notes and then you can respond to it. It says, I'm willing to go to max daily loss. I need to be more aggressive on winning and trending days. Volume tricked me today along with the inventory number. Here was what I was thinking. The number is negative, but they want the best price available, and there was a low to take out. Crude oil traders are bastards, so they wanted to drive it down to get the best price so they could drive it back up. Let's see how this plays out. Remember, they are a bunch of bastards that love to manipulate price to their best advantage. <clears throat> the, uh, what did I say, 39 low wasn't good enough. Uh, there was, uh, but anyway, so the low here, buying at the low, knowing they were going to drive it up. So that's the, the thought process behind what I believe today. So it'd be interesting to see how it plays out. They knew where the low was from yesterday. So they wanted to drive out all the weak, sh uh, weak, weak shorts and whatnot that are in the market and then whew, drive it back up to who knows where they're going to go from this point. But, um, this right here, I'm uh, since I am a betting man positionally, you know what I've done coming into the market today. I think we're looking at the low before it goes back up. All right, it's Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thank you for watching. It basically what I'm saying today, make a long story short, I'm throwing everything out into the dishwasher in the dish, the, I mean the dirty dishes, and I'm just going to add back what I like. Um, so I'm down minus, uh, I'm up against um, max trailing loss again. Woohoo! Whip, whippity ding dong. I got about uh, 350 bucks to, to max uh, trailing drawdown again. So uh, it was day 19, believe it or not, in the uh, pro account. So I've been able to maneuver my way around this a little bit, and I've been positive. Yes, I ended up, you know, I was up $119.40 coming into the day. So I had worked my way from negative back to positive. If you're looking at my, my equity curve, 
it went up to a high of 800 down to about 500 low up to uh, my swing right now 119 and now I'm obviously swinging the other direction I, I, I I've been trying to catch a nice uh, a move out now yesterday believe it or not I was short from 59.99 after it made the high of 606 that son of a bastard market went to 6001 and then sold off hindsight's always a winner right so if I would have just put my stop above that you know trading two contracts and took one off and then put the other above the high of the day I'd have been golden man it would have been like a hundred and fifty tick move on one I was looking for 5888 uh, initially on my short trades yesterday so I was right but wrong all at the same time it's the way it is position positionally trading and speaking you know I covered but now I'm, I'm looking at this and saying this is this is where I'm going long from but um, that's all I gotta say about it right now crude oil traders crude oil traders are bastards what's up is down what's down is up usually I'm pretty good at remembering that today um, the open trade kind of kicked my ass to be honest uh, I took too many entries and we're going to revise the open strategy if you're watching this don't trade it on inventory day you, you need to have your cannon fodder that's cannon fodder that you just expend on a market that wasn't ready to go this is when the markets ready to go uh, from the down going low and then from this mark most likely going that way well you got a low risk point right so right there I'd see the lows at 56.97 right now put the stop 10 ticks to 20 ticks underneath that <laughs> you know who you are crude oil traders are bastards I guess that's all I gotta say about it today Dave not here from 123daytrade.com once again I'm not going to respond to the riffraff, so just go ahead, go for it. I basically call you a bunch of atoms anyway, so in my humble opinion, I'm just not going to respond to it anymore. It, it brings me down, and if it's going to bring me down, then it's just not worth my time, as many uh, other traders have told me in the past, uh, the ones that are positive on my channel for the most part. You know, I just got to ignore it, and I know you're going to be there. I know you're going to love when I'm down because you get a kick out of it because you can't trade your way out of a box but it is what it is you know um, I'm kind of proud of myself I've been able to stay in the pro account for 19 days I've been playing around that that fuck, that, that, that damn max trailing drawdown for a while now I, I obviously believe max trailing drawdown should not move period in any account that you should have that full 1500 available at all times and not move that should not move so that's my biggest gripe that I got right now against top step trader I can handle the $500 daily loss that part I can I can I don't obviously you know how I feel about that too I don't feel that that should uh, ruin your trading account I think it should put you in a timeout box but it shouldn't be a money-making opportunity hopefully someone there at the fucking top step trader listens to me and um, makes it even better on your retreat this is Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com thank you for watching Thank you for being there. If you're on that retreat watching this video right now, you've got Michael right there and you got the CEO right there. Tell them what traders want.